An important part of preparing documents with the computer is being able to add the illustrations. One of the problems here is to provide the draftsman with simple, powerful tools for adding the illustrations. In this film, you're going to see some examples of these tools. Tools that behave like artist brushes are in many ways more natural to use than tools that dispense straight lines, circles, and arcs. Here, for example, we see the sort of picture that a page layout artist might draw in creating a thumbnail sketch. The user draws with a mouse, a simple input device with three switches on it. On the screen, a cursor shows the current position of the mouse. He draws by pressing down on the first switch and then moving the mouse. If he presses down on the second switch, a menu of different brush shapes appears. He can choose a different brush shape, release the second switch, and the menu disappears. By pressing down on the third switch, he can erase with the current brush. Below the row of brushes is a row of line drawing brushes that can be used for drawing straight lines. Again, if the user makes a mistake, he can erase with using the third switch. Different line thicknesses are available. There is also a, another row of brushes for drawing diagonal lines. Line drawing brushes can be used to construct a variety of diagrams, including architectural plans. Note that the freehand drawing brushes can be used to edit these line drawings. Below the line drawing brushes is a fourth row of the menu that includes some special operations, including this one for moving and copying whole areas of the, of the diagram. The user specifies the area that he wants to remove. He 
can then replace it and copy it. And in this way, do re repetitive parts of the diagram very quickly. To add text, the user simply types and positions it. Using a text and image brush, a complete part of a diagram can be moved. The user can first select a point of interest in order to position the, the diagram carefully. Images that have been previously drawn or scanned in are available to the user and a list of them can be brought onto the screen above the menu. We can then choose one and position it on the screen. Using the same area manipulation tool, we can crop it. pick up the whole image and move it and make copies of it. Again, we can use the freehand brushes to edit these images. We can scan in a, a plan or map and then bring in a copy of the map. Add to it. Add a label. The tools we've seen are simple enough to be used by people who have no professional training as artists, and they're powerful enough to allow us to create many different types of illustrations.